Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you your daily love reading for the day commencing Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this reading. Let's see what's up. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and roll the dice. Let's see what we got. We got the number 10. So there's some endings of old cycles so that new beginnings can happen. We have the number 7. So instantaneously I'm seeing the chariot card coming up in my mind's eye. So what I say is that your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, I feel that they're keeping a close eye on what is going on in the world. They're watching the news right now. Um to see when they can travel. Uh, the month of July seems to be a big energy month that seems to be resonating more so with unions and coming together. Okay, let's see here. And the number seven is also a very powerful spiritual number. So uh, your person, Scorpio, could be having a spiritual awakening. And the number 12, let's see what's up, what kind of message. Okay, when I add the one and the two together, that brings me to the number three. So definitely communication, some form of creativity, or your person trying to become creative in order to speak up and to be able to reach out. Some of you could be, um, your person could have been born on the 10th, or maybe you, Scorpio, the 7th or the 12th, um, possibly the 27th or the 21st, or the 17th of the month. Just looking at other variables, the 11th. Let's see what else. I think I saw all the numbers there. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio throughout the month of October, uh, possibly Cancerian energy or Leo, Sagittarius or Capricorn. Just keep in mind that not all messages are going to resonate for every single Scorpio and every single cross watcher. However, I could say that one thing and it'll be like the aha moment. And also keep in mind that 100% of the time, all signs get represented in my readings. Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... I'm going to add the 2 to the 71 and add the extra 1. So that brings me to the number 74. When you add up the number 74, what does that break down to? The number 11. Again, some of you could be dealing with a, a Scorpio, yourself, Scorpio, or a Sag. However, the number 11 is for the 1111 Twin Flame Soulmate Energy Number. Okay, so... <clears throat> This will be a four-card spread. We're doing a four-card spread all this week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73 and 74 okay pulling from the top of the deck to get this reading started seven of pentacles a lot of them want to start over from scratch they want to plant new seeds love is patient love is kind some of you might not have seen your person Scorpio, some of you, for those of you that are in separation, it could be seven days, seven weeks, maybe seven months, possibly seven years on the very long grand scheme of things. But in recent current time frame, I'd say up to about seven months. You haven't seen your person. 
could be dealing straight up with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn or if your person has those energies within their chart. But they're wanting to work on this. They're willing, I say this is all about starting over from scratch with your person. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <clears throat> the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The ace of swords, you guys. We look forward to those aces, don't we? And like I said, that number 10 that was rolled on the dice, a lot of you are getting ready to cut out old cycles, old patterns, and so is your person, even despite certain appearances. But this is like Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth coming in to basically cut out the BS. And the truth, for some of you, you will be receiving the truth when you start to see the dandelions come up. Okay? So this, for some of you, this could be one day, one hour, possibly one month. Okay? So we'll see with this Ace of Swords what truth and victory is coming forward here. This is fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> eleven. Strength, sign of Leo, kicking in. In this deck, it's called the crone. Courage and strength, perseverance, determination is residing within your person. And like I said, July seems to be... A big time frame, July and even August, because the number eight is here. But Leo's symbolism and energy resides at the end of July. Somebody is, I'm saying here, somebody is very bound to de determine, Scorpio. Either you or your person. Because now this energy is connected to the Ace of Swords. Somebody's, I say somebody's leveling up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What is this? Oh, you guys, come on, Scorps. Look at what we got. Passionate new beginnings. Some of you are going to be receiving communication within a week. <laughs> I just said communication and then my phone starts to ring. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. But a passionate new beginning. Some of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Come on, my water signs. Where are you guys at? Not only are they feeling passionate about you, Scorpio, and vice versa. They are sexually thinking about you, too. But when this person, or those of you... They're in separation. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Wait, my phone. Communication. Yeah, you guys can have your phones ringing off the hook, okay? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> Ace of Wands. When they come rushing back in, bringing the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, they're going to go all in. They're going to take that gamble and lay their cards out on the table and go all in. There's no, here, here's the interesting part. With the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Strength, and the Ace of Wands, there's, there's no half-ass energy here, you guys. So we got to see what is the reason. Why all of a sudden, out of nowhere, is somebody going to do a 180? You want somebody to do a 180. You don't want them to do a 360, really, because if the 360 can bring that person back around the bend again to exactly where they were at and not even change. But if this person can meet you halfway, do a 180, it might be easier to work with the energy. Where there's, there's like a sense of comfortability that's kicking in through the cards. It's like zoom, zoom, zoom. Seeing that Indy 500 car race. 
they'll do what I'm hearing. They'll do whatever it takes to cross the finish line and be the winner. So let's see what's up. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll write that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Clarifying the seven of pentacles. Damn. You better believe they're watching the news. They're figuring out when the hell they're going to be able to travel. I think everybody's eyes, I mean, you don't want to watch too much of the news because some of the news has been really repetitive, you guys. But I think the main objective when people turn on the news to see what the hell is going on in the world, it's when we're going to be able <clears throat> to travel. There's going to be some form of rapid fire communication and somebody's going to express very heavily that they want to work on this partnership. For those of you that are in separation, whatever your, whatever the circumstances are within your situation, because all of you have so many different stories, many different layers, very intricate details of how you and your person came together in the first place, everything that happened in the middle. And then for some of you that have gone through separation, whether you're married or you were just dating or there was a long-term commitment or it was a short-lived uh, whirlwind type of romance, whatever the case may be, somebody's, somebody's gearing up. We got to find out more information about this eight of clubs because it's like, boom, boom, boom. I'm getting ready to travel. Let's see what the ace of swords is bringing in. Damn, Scorpio, you're on fire. Wish fulfillment. They are going to express that you guys are wish fulfillment and vice versa. Truth. Glory be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this is good. Let's see why they got strength kicking in because you are their everything. For those of you that didn't get the commitment, for those of you that didn't get the engagement ring, for those of you, you know, <clears throat> that walked away from the relationship and this person had to go think about what the hell it is that they did, they're coming back. I say for some of you, when your person returns, you're not even going to know who the hell they are, but in a good way. Ten of diamonds, you guys. Endings of old cycles and new beginnings. Ten to the aces. We got two aces here. What is this ace of wands bringing in? They're not going to hold back. The four of diamonds, they're not going to hold back their truth. They're not going to hold back their feelings. They want this passionate new beginning. It's the motivation. What kicked into high gear in order <clears throat> for somebody's energy to be like the light bulb clicked on? They don't want to hold back. Very powerful, <clears throat> straight to the point, clear cut messages. Wish fulfillment. Let's see what's up with this. I, I got to clear my throat. <clears throat> Eight of clubs. Let's see what is going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and eight. What is up? Oh, Scorpio, come on, you guys. We're on fire. We are on fire. Knight of Cups. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, everybody get into the baseball stadium and do the wave, okay? They're not only bringing in an apology, but they're bringing in a love offer. Here are my water signs. I got my water signs going on here too. Nine of hearts. You guys see that? Let me see if I can add a little extra light to the reading here. A little bit. I don't know if that made that darker or not. 
<clears throat> set time of day. <sighs> a love offer. Somebody's returning, you guys. Your person, they're returning. I'm hearing Kylie Minogue's song, I Can't Get You Out of My Head. Boy, your love is all I think about. I keep hearing that. It's over, plain over, redundant in my head. I could hear it. What is this message from the Knight of Cups? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. They had to make a decision. Two of Swords. I say this person just got fed up going back and forth, debating and debating and debating and debating back and forth, back and forth. Like, okay, make a decision already. I say somebody uh, SHIT and got off the pot. It could be that there was conflict even too in their environment and they got fed up and says, Screw this, S-H-I-T. I'm done. I'm going to go be with the person I want to be with. This energy is kicking in. Let's see why this four diamonds is here. Yes, they held back. A lot of them held back. But what happened for them to be feeling very passionate? They didn't want to hold back. Why? Why is this? One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. What happened here? I say, okay, what do I say, you guys, in a lot of my readings? Some of you guys were, your relationships were, for some of you, not for all of you, disrupted by family members. For some of you, not for all of you. But there was an ending. Somebody put a stop, I say, to an energy that was going on in their environment. They, I think somebody got fed up because you know why? There's a snake in the grass, you guys. I think somebody figured out who the snake in the freaking grass is. Okay? Or if they'd known it for a while, they were maybe playing this person at their game. Whether it's the karmic family member, karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend. Really, the, the world card is about an ending. And also, too, yes, our worldly situation. The worldly situation has been like a snake in the grass, has it not? That's why I said they're watching the news. Some of them are watching you on social media right now. They're trying to see, you know, for some of you that don't have your person blocked, they're, they're scoping you out. Some of you guys have YouTube channels and they're scoping you out. But they've been holding back. They want this new beginning. I think... Your person, for some of you in this scenario, if you guys are separated by distance, wherever the two of you are at within the world, some of you are in the same local vicinity. Some of you in the United States are a couple states away, a couple hours away. Some of you live in the United States and your person lives in Europe or etc. Okay. All over. But they don't, I say that they do not want to hold on to the environment that they're in in order to have this new beginning here with you. Message from the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Some of you guys like to play blackjack. They found out about some deception. A lot of them did hold back. Yeah, they held back their feelings. They weren't being honest. They put, I'm, I'm hearing somebody, somebody's person is getting ready to or already has 
put an end to the deceptions that were going in and around your person. This energy for some of your persons are gearing up. Truth is now dominating with the Ace of Swords over the Moon card. What do I say about the full moon? Every time we hit up a full moon, truths get revealed. Our next full moon will be in the sign of Scorpio. Hallelujah. Change and transformation. Message from the moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18, to go back to their true love. There you are, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy on the board. The Queen of Cups fights for true love, is an advocate for true love. Trusts her intuition. She's like the cousin to the high priestess. She's magical in her own ways. You can be a male or female, does not matter. They want to return back to the king or the queen. Of true love, which they should have done in the first place. But, well, sometimes it just takes that person a little bit longer to learn their lessons. And it could be that your person's keeping a secret, keeping it a secret right now, that they're gearing up. For some of you in this situation, they're gearing up to come and see you face to face. Message from the Queen of Cups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. To heal the relationship because they know they broke your heart. Three swords. I also do feel that somebody's getting ready to leave a third-party situation. A lot of them have. Some of these people have not told you. Your person. For some of you, your person has not said anything. They've kept it hidden because they. I think they're trying to figure out how to swallow their pride. And be truthful and honest because what they're wanting to express is that you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio, and vice versa. But there's rapid fire communication. There's travel. Somebody's gearing up. Strength coming from the sign of Leo. All signs are represented again. There will be healing. Through the seven of pentacles, healing can take place because somebody is going to express that they want to start over from scratch and have more involvement and do the right thing. The Ace of Swords is about doing the right thing. And like I said, for some of you, that truth, watch when the dandelions kick in. Okay? Ask your spirit guides and your guardian angels and your ancestors for wisdom and discernment every single day. Ask them to open up your third eye, your crown chakra, to become more consciously aware so that you can pick up on more messages from your person. Some of you guys are having very prophetic dreams about your person, and they're dreaming about you. So... Scorpio, Cross Watchers, if you'd like to book a personal and private reading with me, hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. All of the specials will be listed in the description box below. So until tomorrow, I'll be back for another daily Scorpio love reading. Take care.